The young actors today are so ghastly, uninteresting, boring, tedious. They know nothing about their culture. They know nothing about the great legends of the past. You say, what do you think of Gilgood? Well, who's that? What do you think of Trevor Howard? I don't know. What do you think of um, Edmund Keen, the great 19... Oh, never heard of him. What do you... They know nothing. All they know is, let me get a part, let me get a role, let me get discovered. But the art of the actor, which comes, of course, from the theatre, that is, for me, the prime requisite of learning your craft. You see, the theatre is your pulpit, it's your church, and you want to be a, a priest in your church, and that's what I believe in. So that's why I find it difficult to contact young, the younger actors. So the up-and-coming British actors at the moment aren't getting enough of the stage experience, in your view? Unfortunately not, because this develops your vocal cords, your gestures, your mannerisms, your timing, your intellectual grasp on what you're doing. They don't do that. They just do maybe a few stage plays, maybe two, maybe three. And then there, there's some casting person thinks, oh, you're young and pretty, uh, you know, throw you into a TV series. The most of them are useless. And so we don't really have, unfortunately, some young great actors today, like we used to have Laurence Olivier or John Gilgood or Ralph Richardson or Alec Guinness or Albert Finney or Peter O'Toole, zilch. They're one or two and they're trying their best, but it's a small territory. It's a potentially damning indictment of the future of British acting talent in that case. Yes, absolutely. There is no future. There is no future unless they are encouraged, unless it all... Two years ago, when I started, it was mandatory to do at least 50 weeks in rep, repertory theatre, before you could get your equity ticket. Now, they jump in, so it's not their fault, but um, they don't get the experience. So we're not seeing any... Any Olivier's, unfortunately, and, and the ones that were the heirs um, have somehow become older. We just lost O'Toole. Finney is more or less retired. When we have some very good of the older actors, of course, there's some splendid old, older actors. Um, but they're, they're near retirement. Derek Jacobi, of course, is a wonderful actor. And never forget Ian McKellen. And... Um, that he is still going, even at his age, and he's a, still a remarkable actor. So a few of the old ones are holding the fort, but after they go, we're left in a kind of quagmire of nothingness.